Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guide. This is another episode of the Raycaster game in C++ series and in this video we are going to continue by finishing our horizontal raycasting algorithm so that we can get started with the vertical one in the next video. So I'm going to open up my terminal and I've actually gone ahead and uh, basically uh, you know created the actual recasting algorithm i have already yeah, like implemented it for horizontal recasting so i'm just going to give you an overview of like uh, the changes we made from the previous video first of all let me run make here to kind of show you what we have so you can see that we can move around and we have got like a ray here and if i look around this ray uh, interacts with only the horizontal walls so it does not interact with like the vertical walls but it does interact with the horizontal ones so you can see that uh, it's interacting with the horizontal walls but it is actually not interacting with any of the vertical walls so yeah guys now we are going to go into the implementations of that so i'm going to first of all open up the uh, uh, renderer.h here and uh, well actually before we open up render.h i'm going to open up map.h and in here what you can see is that we have added two more functions here one is get grid and one is get cell size and as you would expect these functions are pretty simple they just return the uh, grid uh, you know return the actual cell size and also return the actual grid so we can get like uh, the actual vector so that we can use it to, and to find out whether we are hitting anything or not so these two are necessary in order to allow us to like interact with our uh, map inside of the renderer and speaking of the renderer i have also changed a couple of things in here the most important thing is that this draw ray functions now takes uh, uh, takes in the render target of course uh, as a parameter but it also uh, takes the player and also takes a map so we actually take three arguments one is player and one is uh, the target and one is the map we don't take the cell size or anything separately we just take the whole map and uh, similarly in main.cpp we have modified it so that we have got like uh, a renderer here uh, called renderer just like we had in the last video but uh, uh, this time when we call uh, draw ray on it we provide it with the player uh, with the window the player and the map and uh, yeah that's that's uh, pretty much it for our main function uh, all right with the, that setup out of the way let's go ahead and look into the actual implementation inside of render.cpp so in here uh, there are a couple of changes in the from the last video uh, in the last video we were checking whether our angle is greater than pi or less than pi uh, however that won't exactly work correctly that's because uh, our angle may not be wrapped to 30 60 degrees one way to ensure it is correct would be to wrap it but an easier way to is to just take the sine of the angle so uh, here we convert the angle to radians then we go ahead and uh, calculate the inverse tangent of the angle uh, and we store the cell size uh, map cell size in this variable so that we don't have to call the function each time and uh, then in here we check is the sine of the angle is greater than 0 0.001 uh, we add the small value to kind of uh, account for floating point errors and if it is less than negative of that amount so uh, if it's greater than this we are looking up and we uh, actually we are looking down uh, if it's greater than this then we need to well we are looking up but we need to uh, kind of do it in the last video we added the cell size in this one and we subtracted the other thing in that one so uh, yeah uh, we need to actually reverse that the reason for that is because of the way we have implemented our player and everything else this is actually the correct way to do this so uh, yeah we'll set our reposition dot y to basically we'll round it to the cell size then add cell size to this and we'll set our reposition dot x to uh, our player position dot y minus our reposition dot y multiplied by our tangent and add to that at our player's x position uh, for offset dot y we'll use the cell size and for offset dot x we'll use negative offset dot y multiplied by the inverse of tangent and uh, if we are looking if the sign is less than minus one minus 0 0.001 actually then we'll just uh, uh, wrap it up and we subtract a small l value to kind of uh, make it account for floating point differences you could actually move that i'm doubt if it would cause that much of a difference and uh, we set uh, x position similarly we just don't add here that's a difference in this line and we set our offset dot y to be negative cell size here and if neither of these is true which means we are looking either straight left or straight right that means we are never going to hit a horizontal wall and we can pretty much return so that's pretty cool and now in here uh, you can see we store our grid in a cones preference by getting map.getGrid and uh, with that we basically run a loop over max raycast depth which is uh, 32 actually that's too much we could just set it to 16 actually uh, like uh, this is the maximum you know depth for which we'll do the raycasting uh, or you could leave it at 32 if you want it depends on the size of your map and how far you want the player to be able to look so in here what we do is we set our map x and we set it to we basically take our ray position dot x and then divide that by cell size convert it to an integer similarly for map y 
So this gives us the actual map coordinates and then we check if our map y is less than grid dot size and our map x is less than grid map y dot size to ensure we don't check anything out of bounds in case uh, there is not a limiting ball here we don't want to cause an exception and if both of those are met then we check if the grid map y and map x is actually not zero which means it's true which means it's one or any other value greater than one or uh, yeah it can be any value here but not zero so if it's that uh, if it works then we are just going to break which means we are going to end our loop here and that's the point where we have hit else we just keep adding offset to our reposition and uh, in the end we just draw a line and for drawing a line we don't use a rectangle this time we don't need any thickness for this line so we just uh, create like a vertex array so we create a, an array of sf colon colon vertex and uh, that array is called like just line and it consists of two vertices one is the player position and the other vertex is the ray position that the ray actually hit and in the end we just call target dot draw and we provide it with our line uh, the actual array then we provide it with the number of vertices in that array which is two and then we provide it by the type that we want to draw which is sf colon colon lines so after doing that let's go ahead and run this and uh, what you can see is that uh, we hit our horizontal walls correctly but we do not hit any vertical walls so uh, yeah you can see that uh, we hit our horizontal walls and we only hit the horizontal wall if i straight uh, look straight left so uh, it uh, kind of stops sometimes sometimes it doesn't uh, anyways if i actually move out of this area then you can see that uh, uh, this ray is kind of extending quite far because it's not hitting anything but here it does hit when we actually get a horizontal line here so what that means is that uh, yeah we have got this kind of working so yeah guys that's it pretty much it for this video i'll see you in the next one in which we are gonna continue by implementing the vertical part of this algorithm and then we can combine those together to kind of uh, um, finish this up and uh, yeah basically complete our algorithm so we'll see i'll see you in the next one uh, make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with other people as well and bye